Welcome back to Mango Plays Franbo, and we are in chapter two, part two, with a cat hat. Ah, what is this? A hat. Mist and midnight. Oh no, your head. Kitty. Wait a second, this is not my kitty. What a weird hat. She looks disgusted. Uh, let's see what... Uh, anyways, I have to find my kitty. I hope you are here somewhere. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Are we supposed to be a kitten? Uh, it's fun to see what people have in their homes. There's a weird little knife there. Okay, so it looks like two girls have our kitten. Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. Um, okay, let's look over here. There's a stool. Um, it smells like a weed we had in our garden. Uh, there's no vampires. Ah, it opened. So it looks like a seed, okay. Pepper, always good to dress up the soup. Okay. Matches, that's always good to have. Uh, or just for fun. Lots of cakes. There's more of the girls. Ah, oh, hello. Oh my goodness, the smell. You could have done this and why? Yeah. Uh, and it works. Okay. Um wonder if it works. Let's see. Uh, let's go upstairs. End up in a wall? Okay. Alright, let's have a look. Ah, lovely. Um, let's climb up, I guess. Wow, how cool. Um, I need a bridge. Uh, okay, let's go down then. Oh, okay. Uh, seem fresh, you still alive. Lovely. Can I can I plant the seed? Moonlight seed. Moonlight reflection, yeah, there we go. Wow, this is a really nice blue rose. Okay, uh, let's get rid of our pills for a second. Uh, let's check this room for weirdness. Uh, okay, so it's the same thing. Do these go up to a wall? Nope, okay. Ah, oh, creepy photo. And another creepy picture. Ah, a broom to fly away or just to clean around. I get in here. Black candles. Okay. Oh, what was that chain? A big mirror. I don't know. It's got a key at the top. Uh, I wonder if there's a key for this one. Tweezers? Uh, this perfume smells like teenagers. Ugh! I don't know what the deal is. Um, okay! 
Well, that's pretty nifty. So, if I'm in the kitchen, do I end up in the well? I do. Um, what about in here? Yep, okay. Uh, if I were to keep the chimney warm... Um, what's this about? Uh, don't know. Can I? Maybe I can use. Right. Okay. Pepper. Why can I not? Why can I not brush it, broom it? Um, hmm. Maybe the broom will work as a bridge. <laughs> Doubtful, I know. That seems to be like weird sort of line to be burnt, yeah. Hmm. Well, the wind has stopped blowing. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, let's uh, try going up the thingies again. Uh, it looks stable, let's see. It wasn't stable. Bad, bad. Um. Okay. Hmm. I am positively puzzled by these puzzles. What about this? Uh, a ladder. Ooh. Um. Hello, creepy. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, let's... Uh, found you? Is that... Oh dear, finally! Let me see you! Oh, It dreams about me! I love you too! How did you find this place? Uh, after those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. After a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. I, my dear, I'll open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Bran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. It's going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Can I ask you something? Sure. Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. A presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human. But it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Bran, did you hear that? Did you... I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you. Oh. Um. Hmm.
I had out my own dress, but those are pretty too. Um, bunch of records. Okay. Let's head down. Hello! Creep. What have we got? Um, okay. Let's... Ugh. That creeped me out. Oh, hello. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? What? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm confused. <laughs> Rambo, that's your name, right? And your mum and dad died tragically very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? How do you know? We just know we have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. Yeah. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Uh, They won't come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Who told you about me? Um, Are you scared, little Fran? A little. It's odd the way I came here and this conversation makes me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. Want You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He is my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Bill told me a secret and I was clever enough to find a way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant and I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. <laughs> and then I made a door and that door took me here. But when I entered the door something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now I'm here looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old. I have to turn eleven soon, and you? We are sixteen years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. Yeah, I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Lovely. They used to be separated. Do you understand? You don't scare me. You ask for it. If you don't do what we ask for, bad things will happen to your cat. We force you to kill him with your own hands. I'll do whatever you ask for. Need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Uh, yes, Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. How come we didn't use the sleeping pie thing? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It is tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe, but be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Summon... Excuse me. Uh, why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. 
One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity to ugh, eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. We would do that later when we're not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he's powerless and he will regret it. I will try my best. Uh, we are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. And because you have been a nutty, a very nutty girl, you won't even be able to talk to your cat. You have to wait until we come back. Oh, please, let me talk to him. Let me give him some food. No, you can't. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can we open through it? Your mirror, probably. Can you, you silly, silly girl? Haha. -ha. Alright, where are you going? Where, where do they go? Where do they go? Do they go up there? Okay, let's look at this uh, potion thing. Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes alive through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You'll need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin. Okay, that explains the lady in the bottom. Hair and blood from a black cat. A pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these world words. Ma nam bu kaskni o ma nai erg bon tide i iburi es iburi mon kaskni mabuka iburi fiwern fiwern. That was butchered, I'm sure. Right, so that kind of makes some sense. At the fox upstairs and we've got the body of the young lady um black ashes don't know where that's going to come from hello I see him again but i haven't taken my pills well he opened the window thank you but who is he Ah, there's a frog here. Hey, you. Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Okay, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad. and know I can swim away from this. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. It's terrible. That's why my kitty is here, then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Uh, what should I do? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I'd be creative. Ha, ah, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Okay. Uh, rock. Big, big rock. I'll leave it there. Some wood. There's a bike. Uh, anything else? No. Okay. Uh, oh, hang on. Can I take my pills? Doubters need the truth on paper. My sister's trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Okay. Uh, I won't work. Okay. Ah, wood, wood, wood for bridge. Duff. Come on. 
I wonder if you don't use the broom, like, does it, like, like I didn't use the sleeping thing. The sleepy drugs. Maybe it's too heavy. Uh, can I use... Ah! Achievement unlocked, I burn you. Excuse me. Okay. I can't touch the bottle, it really burns. Uh, uh, ever? Can I take that? Uh huh. It has ashes inside. Hmm. Can I use this with water? Okay. Can I just put the rash, the ash on the stuff, maybe? Okay. Okay, let's see if we can go to the attic. <laughs> they locked the attic, but how? Okay. So, clearly we're supposed to do something. I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that makes you see things that others can't. How do you know that? Yep. I'm talking to is that normally? I don't think so. You can talk to me that makes you special. It's logical. You are right. Maybe you're missing some messages. Let's see what I can find. Okay. So what was the message over here? Doubters need the truth on paper. Uh, talk to her, my sister. Okay, so the same thing. Doubters need the truth on paper. Can I have this? No, nope, okay. I don't think there is any paper. Ah! Oh, a sharpie, sharpie knife. Me good to have with you. Uh, cookies, honey bear, spatula. Uh, uh, okay. doing with a knife and bacon powder oh 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 bacon powder can I use it on the toad no okay aha So we can cook a dinner for Ketsi with the salt cauldron. Aha! Yes, I was looking for something to fill up in here. Okay. Uh, so we're cooking something for the cat. All right. Uh, turn on the fire. It's 
quite windy near the match point. Close the window so the cold wind stays out. Fire! There we go. Now what? Uh, to find a recipe. I am ashamed to say this, but I went and looked up what to do next. And we used the tweezers on the bowl. I got the paper. This is so exciting. So, revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. You try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. Destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped or need blood from the executor of the ritual. Buy black candles, ashes to form a pentagon, a blue bloomed moonlight rose, salt and pepper, hair from the person you want to bewitch. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Oil or over... Person you want to bewitch, repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Okay. Sort of understand. Ish. Maybe. So, if I use this on here. Yep. Okay, and that on there. Okay. Um, what's the rest of the SP? Executor of the ritual. So that's us. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's got to go in there. I hope it tastes good. Tra la la la. Uh, what else have we got to put in there? Uh, salt and pepper and moonlight rose. Okay, so moonlight rose. Uh, goodbye, blue rose in the pot now. Salt and pepper into the magical soup. And then I think we need hair from the person we want to bewitch. So let's go and find some hair from the girls. Try upstairs. Hairbrush, maybe? Um, uh, let's try this again. Hair from your head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. This is apparently us gonna be Oh Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Uh yes, but I need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well learn them fast, let us know when you're ready. Psst, girl, I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me, if we want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Bye, frog. Um, okay. Is he... Oh, no. Is he gone? Did you find a solution already? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, bye. Um, so I guess we got to go give them the updated recipe. Uh, use with those. Use tempered rest. Uh, something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Now you say there's no hair needed. We know that. Uh, look for yourself. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. Now get prepared. Aha! I'll let you know when I'm ready. Um, 
Right, okay, so use the hair on there. Now the hair, good. Alright. What's there left to do? There are some missing ingredients. I hope I'm doing it right. Uh, examine. Uh, put lighted black candle on a bin of gold and water and put... Okay, so we just need to light the candles, I guess. Pretty fire. Candles there. Ugh. Aha. Uh, examine. I made the most incredible magic potion in the world. Okay. Right, so we've got to show the potion to the girls. Uh, use on the girls. Here you go. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. Come on, girls. I look terrified. <laughs> Okay. Uh, please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. Well, I guess... Um, there we go. And now I'll say the words. Surprised they haven't noticed the fact that it's different spell. Wait a second, that's not the right spell. You tricked us. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. Ah. Ah. Uh, what have I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. Uh, the key now I can free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. Question. What's going on in the well? Ah, nothing. Okay. Come on then. Let's, um... Face the horrors up there. Oh. Wait. Yay! Mr. Midnight! Come on, Fran, please look at me out of this cage. Find the key. Alright, yeah, yeah, okay. Use on there. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. Oh no! I did! Yes, I saw one. Are we waiting? Hurry up. Let me guess, I need to go get the stool from the kitchen. Alright, use this on there. Oh no. A puzzle. What? Oh dear. What am I trying to do? Oh my god. Oh my god. Finally. Finally. That puzzle was very hard. It was not obvious to me what was going on. My OBS is... Ah, I'm still recording. Good, good. Right, so. Uh, what is this? Two skeletons. So are they are uh, kind of small like me. I can imagine who these two were, then I'm not the killer. Right, uh, that's good. Uh, Sister Promise, we, Clara, and Mia Bulla met, promised to revenge the unfair destiny it had decided for us. With blood and tears, we promised that we'll kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. 
And look, it's de deotene. My pills are called deotene too. Uh, it must be really old doll. Mother must die. Here's the key. Uh, it's a blue rosette. A pink rosette. And, um, oh, this is a huge scar in the middle. Aww. Okay. Well, that scream was loud. Let's use it on here. I think this is the key. It is the key! Come out, let me hug you. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Aww. Oh. oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. Uh, time to go home. You're free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Achievement unlocked. Find Mr. Midnight. Wow, that is true cat. Um, We need to get home, kitty. I hope the way home is not too far. Hope so too, Fran. We can do this together. I can help you. Well, guys, that was a long episode. I kind of got engrossed in the puzzles. Annoyed at times. There were a couple of them that were a little bit too hard. It was only too hard because I couldn't find the items because I'm an idiot. But we managed it in the end. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.